everyone, it's Rennie DeBeer, PEI's Medium. I'm here to give you this upcoming week's angel card reading. So this will be from Monday, May the 9th until Sunday, May the 15th. And I've been guided to use the Archangel Power Tarot cards this week. I love this deck because it has been infused with the energy of the Archangels. But because it's a tarot deck, it has a different number of cards in it than we usually use. I usually use Doreen's 44 card decks, which is all about angelic energy and positive, positive. And then not that the tarot cards aren't positive. There's 78 cards in this deck, but this is just a, a lot heavier energy. And the reason why I was guided to do this upcoming week's angel card reading with the tarot deck is because we're right now in the middle of the Mercury retrograde. So by far, your your intuitions have been dialed up more. Your sensitivities have been dialed up more. You've probably found yourself a lot more reactive to the situations in and around your life this past week and a bit. So take a breath. If you didn't see my previous uh, video on working with the Archangel Haniel to turn down your sensitivities, then look it up on my Facebook page. And it has a really lovely little meditation at the end just to help you to recenter and refocus. So as I'm shuffling the card, I'm just using my intuition to choose a card for Monday, Tuesday, another card to help us with our energies on Wednesday, Thursday, and then the third card for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So as we come into the beginning of the week, the card that I pulled over for you is the page of Ariel. Reliable, clever, educated, balanced. An excellent opportunity will be offered to you. Scholarships or the pursuit of education. Time to get to work. So what this card talks about is the opening up of an energy. One of those times where a doorway is going to be opened or someone synchronistically going to be stepping into your path with an idea. And this card is saying that it's time for you to act upon that. The angels will always help you, but it's you who have to do the work. You can't just say, oh, angels, bring me this or bring me that. It's you that has to have to actually get up and get motivated. So if you're lacking that motivation to get going on things, call on the Archangel Ariel. So not only is Ariel the Archangel to help our, um, our who watches over the earth and all of the plants and the animals of the earth, she's also an excellent angel to call upon for self-confidence. And often when, when those doorways open, we don't feel worthy we feel a lack of self-confidence. So this card is saying to call on the Archangel Ariel to help you with that confidence to get going and get in the right direction. And what a better card to pull just after uh, you know, the university graduation weekend when we have all of these newly educated people stepping out into the work world and beginning their new happily ever after. So it's coming into Wednesday, Thursday, I turn over the Five of Michael. So the Archangel Michael is the Archangel who protects the world, protects us. So this situation doesn't serve you. Release your attachment to the outcome and consider taking a much more uplifting approach. And as you can see, Archangel Michael stands here with a vacuum. And oftentimes, anytime you feel fear in your life, fear, of course, serves no purpose whatsoever. Fear, false evidence appearing real. Call on the Archangel Michael to take that vacuum that you see here and vacuum within and around you and this situation and phew, to the light, all of that fear energy, all that which does not serve you and may be holding you back. Okay, so don't allow your own ego or that own negative self-talk to get going. Archangel Michael, hold my ego. Archangel Michael, vacuum away my fears, my worries. And Archangel Ariel, going back to Monday, Tuesday's cards, Archangel Ariel, give me the self-confidence. Lend me your self-confidence so that I may continue on my path and into my divine purpose. And leading into the weekend, it's beautiful. So we have the Ten of Raphael. Love and blessings fill your life. Harmonious relationships with family members happily ever 
after. And I love, love, love this card because I always, as soon as I turn this card over, the first thing that hits me is that rainbow. And just the beauty of nature and the beauty of life and the beauty of who each and every single one of you are. And just know that love, not only in your relationships but in your life, but love begins from within your own heart towards you yourself. Love yourself first and foremost. And then everything else, just like a pebble in the water and those ripples will just kind of filter out. You love yourself first and you will find that all of your relationships around you in life and all of those situations will begin to iron themselves out. So remember, love and blessings fill your life. Love and blessings fill me. And as I look back and connect all three of the cards, what this tells me about this upcoming week's energy and what I hear the angels saying is that, first of all, you have everything that it takes. Going back to Ariel, you already have everything that it takes to set your life on path and bringing into the middle of the week just a reminder that Archangel Michael call on him to help you step into your divine life path and your divine life purpose. Hold your ego, hold your fears, get rid of all of that which does not serve so that you will, you will begin your happily ever after. Okay? So, again, it looks like a wonderful upcoming week. Remember that the energies are heavier than normal because we are in that Mercury retrograde. So make sure you're taking the necessary steps, so sensitive one, to overcome that so that you can enjoy life. Because essentially, we are here for a specific divine purpose. And you have to remember that. And you need to recognize that within your own heart, you love you First and foremost, fill yourself up with love and just let that love exude through your pores, into your life, and into the people and situations in your life. Call on the angels to help support you and guide you each and every day. So I'm looking forward to heading to Nova Scotia this weekend. So on Saturday and Sunday, I will be attending a health, healing, and holistic fair in Bridgewater. So I'm really looking forward to come over and see everybody in Nova Scotia. I hope you drop by our booth and say hello to me, PEI's medium. So I'm closing off with, a, with sending you lots of love, light, and angel blessings for a fun-filled week ahead. Bye.